Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about pyridine and parole, two common nitrogen heterocycles, um, in which, uh, if you watch my video on heterocycles, you know that these things are aromatic. Um, but I wanted to, to just give one more chance to practice with the Huckel rule, but also uh, a chance to remind you how to identify localized and non-localized electrons. Because if you look at the structures of pyridine and parole, you might look at parole and count up uh, a total number of six pi electrons, right? If it's true, and one own pair, so there's another another pair of electrons there. Uh, and in parole, we only have two shown pi bonds, so four pi uh, electrons. Four electrons in the drawn pi bond and one lone pair. And so that means, but both of these are aromatic, aromatic, so they both need to add up to six. And that means that the lone pair uh, electron needs to count in parole and not count in pyridine. Uh, and it might not be obvious to you why it is that that's going to happen. So let's uh, just briefly talk about these two molecules. I'm going to redraw parole. I'm going to redraw both molecules from sort of a side-on perspective uh, <clears throat> because I want to I want to put in some, I want to put in some p orbitals on the ring. Okay. So here's pyridine. Uh, I'm not showing the double bonds here for clarity, uh, but all, you know, because there are six, or there are, sorry, there are three drawn pi bonds. Uh, I have six molecular orbitals, and then I have this lone pair. This lone pair in pyridine is not in a p orbital. It's actually in uh, this this sp2 hybridized orbital. Let's see if I can do this right now. Uh, the software wants to put the lone pair behind. But this lone pair in pyridine is in the sp2 orbital. The p orbital is already in the pi system. And it's already being shared by a, uh, the other carbon atoms. So this is this is an important thing for for pyridine uh, that it's let's see if I can. Let's just see if I can uh, I, I can't figure out how quickly how to send it uh, behind. Right. Whereas, all right, parole now are a little bit different. That sp2 orbital and parole is the nitrogen hydrogen bond. And so that means that we have a, oops, that the p orbital is available for uh, the lone pair. And that's really the difference here between pyridine and parole, is that in parole, the p orbital is available for the lone pair, where in pyridine, it's not. And so the p orbital is uh, is available. You know, if you are looking at it from a resonance standpoint, then it looks like we get. Uh, you know, it looks like we have in parole a lone pair that can be uh, distributed by resonance. Thus, thus, actually, the definition of delocalized. Um, and in pyridine, this is not one of the uh, you know resonance rules. And so, what I want to leave you here with is a, is a hard and fast rule. It's going to work out 
all the time. If there is already a pi bond at the hetero atom, and this is this is usually a nitrogen issue, already a pi bond at the hetero atom, then I don't want that equal sign there. And the lone pair is localized. There's no pi bond drawn at hetero atom, then the lone pair is probably delocalized. And this actually has uh, uh, implications for a lot of the different behavior of these two molecules, which I'm going to save for another video. Uh, but pyridine is a much stronger base than um, parole, and that's because the lone pair in pyridine is not in the aromatic system, so it's available. Uh, this concludes uh, my whole series of videos on aromaticity. Hopefully it's given you just enough information to, to go out and figure out for yourself whether different things are aromatic or not. Thank you for watching.